Yes, so we are expecting to have about 7,000 plus athletes this year. On the eve of the Salt Lake Marathon, it's all about loading up on carbs, drinking water, and getting mentally prepared. Race day, as Kevin mentioned, tomorrow morning. Thousands of participants will run their way through the valley. The starting line is up at the University of Utah. The finish line is where Keith McCord is tonight. And Keith, congratulations. I can see that you have already won. I have already won. I just have about 100 feet to go. Yeah, second east right outside of the Leonardo. There's the finish right here to the Salt Lake City Marathon. Not much going on right now. They're just finishing up with the arch, and they've got the, uh, the timing equipment. They've been doing testing on the sound system. But fuller half marathon, wheelchair, or kids' events, it all wraps up here. It's definitely big. It's a big draw for those all over the country. You get to come out and see Salt Lake City. We really feature or highlight the city here. The Salt Lake City Marathon is now in its 13th year, and this year will have one of the biggest athlete turnouts ever, more than 7,000. That's up 15% from last year's event. So it looks like we've got at least 43 states represented and 16 different countries this year. And many of those are at the State Fair Park today getting registered for the race. The registration stations were part of the Quality of Life Expo where sponsors and businesses displayed the latest in outdoor fitness gear and nutritional items. There's your number with your name on it, okay, and your shirt. The starting line of the race is the Olympic Legacy Bridge at the U and the route will wind through various neighborhoods in the valley. This is the exact route the race has used for the last three years because the runners loved it. There will be some periodic traffic delays because of some rolling road closures. Salt Lake City Police will have extra officers to help with traffic control and safety. Race organizers are thrilled at the registration numbers this year, and they say the future of the marathon only gets better. We want to double those numbers. It's going to take time, though. This, we're not expecting this to happen overnight, um, but we have huge visions for this race to grow it even bigger. Yeah, lot, lots of optimism for the future. Okay, the finish line area is going to have something new for the athletes this year. It's called a recovery area, and it's not a medical facility, guys, but if a runner finishes up and they need an ice bag for that sore knee or they need to massage some of those sore muscles, they'll have an area here that's brand new this year, so the athletes have probably requested that, saying, hey, we're tired. We, we want to be pampered a little bit when we're done. I was talking to some of the runners today at the registration. They don't mind the cold so much. They're just glad it's not raining or snowing tomorrow so Kevin's okay with the temperatures oh, yeah say. yeah we wish everybody the best of luck but right there at the finish line Keith McCord thank you Keith thank you